pediatrics and gynecology today's topic of the discussion is about the biparietal diameter so this is also called as bpd so actually this bpd which is the biparietal diameter in pregnancy this is a very important measurement which is taken in these ultrasonography procedures and since in this video we will be talking of what does this biparietal diameter does what does the meaning of it and what does it is why it is done and what it is used to measure so this biparietal diameter the word itself is meaning that there is actually means by means to parietal means there are two parietal bones so in the skull we find that in the anatomy of the skull students you must have seen that there are two parietal bones this is the frontal bone and there are the these are the two parietal bones what are located on the cranium so actually the biparietal diameter it is somewhat the, the measuring of the parietal bones so during pregnancy this biparietal diameter is being diameter measurement is done by the ultrasonograph uh, ultrasonologist and he tries to determine as to what is how is the fetal what is the fetal weight and about the gestational age this biparietal diameter measurements gives you an idea so it, it is actually one of the many many, many measurements what are taken uh, during the pregnancy and during the ultrasonography procedures and it is used to estimate about the fetal weight as well as the gestational age so as i have already said that every human being is having two parietal bones on the skull and this parietal bones it is each parietal bone is having actually it is having the four borders and two surfaces so actually how do we understand this if we take a string for example if i take a string and if i put it from the top of the right uh, from the top of the right ear to the another uh, and, and pass it along to the other side to the top of the left ear so the length of the string what it would measure it is it would be measuring it would be giving the measure of the biparietal diameter and actually these two parietal bones these are little bit curved bones which are lying on the top of the head so an ultrasono during an ultrasonography procedure the uh, the technician what is there is it takes the measurement while the a developing baby is observed in the ultrasound and it through the computer screen and using the digital measurements this biparietal diameter of the developing fetus is taken into account and actually this biparietal diameter measurement is usually taken during the standard ultrasonography procedures and actually during a normal pregnancy a normal individual actually the doctors they advise a minimum of 3 ultrasonographies throughout the entire course up till the 20 weeks of gestation doctors mostly ask the pregnant lady to have at least 3 ultrasonographies and apart from this in that routine standard ultrasonography procedures this biparietal diameter measurement is also taken apart from this this biparietal diameter measurement is taken alongside three other measurements are also taken into consideration which is actually the head circumference the abdominal circumference and the femur bone length so along with these three parameters that is the head circumference the abdominal circumference of the developing fetus and the femur bone length of the fetus these three measurements when they are taken together they help to estimate about the fetal weight as well as the gestational age so we can get a rough idea as to what is the fetal age and how long the pregnancy is being there so with the help of this biparietal diameter the estimated we can estimate the gestational age as to how long the pregnancy has happened and about the fetal weight also we can get an idea so biparietal diameter also gives an idea since it is the measure of the parietal bones so the doctors actually can sense through this biparietal diameter that how the baby's uh, developing brain is there so how the brain of the baby is developing and doctors they also consider that they 
match this measurement with a standard measurement and they compare it that whether the baby's brain is grow growing as per the in within the normal range so the measurements of this bone gives an idea of this apart from this this biparietal diameter measurements is mostly done during the at least 12 to uh, 26 weeks of gestation and at that particular time it gives a clear idea as to uh, it is a, it is it would be a reliable indicator to know that how long the pregnancy has been conceived so uh, it is also considered that even after the 26 weeks of gestation, if this biparietal diameter measurements is taken, it won't be considered as a reliable indicator for measuring the gestational age, for evaluating the gestational age. So other studies, there have been studies, so many studies that are being conducted. And actually the ideal reference, what is considered is that during the 12 to 26 weeks of gestation, the bi biparietal uh, diameter is going to give an idea about the proper development of the fetal brain is there or not apart from this the fetal weight and along with other measurements along with other measurements such as the head circumference the abdominal circumference of the fetus the femur how long the femur bone of the leg has grown along with all such measurements the doctor is able to analyze that whether the fetus is growing normally or not now in other situations, if it is found that whatever the normal set value is there for a particular age of, for a particular week during the gestational period, if the uh, biparietal diameter is coming somewhat less than the normal values, so it can be considered that the young uh, fetus, the developing fetus is having somewhat microcephaly. And this microcephaly can be understood as that the babies will be having a smaller uh, the, the cranial capacity of the brain of the, the that is the uh, development of the brain is not that proper if it is a microcephaly and apart from this uh, it has also considered that if the biparietal diameter uh, comes less than the normal values it indicates certain kind of an intrauterine growth restriction. So the intrauterine, some sort of a restriction is there of the developing fetus within the womb of the mother. So if the biparietal diameter value is coming less than normal, it is clearly indicating that there is a certain intrauterine growth restriction of the baby or the parietal bones. What the measurements is there that the parietal bones, they are a little bit rounded off so in such a situation if the biparietal diameter is less than normal it can be considered that the parietal bones are more flat now apart from this if the biparietal diameter's value is coming greater than normal values it the value is coming greater than the normal reference values so it is clearly an indicator or signal that certain kind of an health issue is there such as gestational diabetes because during the baby chances of during the gestational diabetes the child is going to grow abruptly because the excess of glucose is getting into the child's body which is give, making the uh, giving the rise to the condition of a macrosomia so the body of the baby will enlarge in gestational diabetes so actually if the biparietal diameter the value is coming more than the normal values it's a sign of a health uh, health issue such as in cases of gestational diabetes the biparameter the biparietal diameter is going to come more than the normal so students and viewers i hope you have understood this video and if you still have any queries or comments, you're most welcome to comment me in the comment section. And students and viewers who are new to my channel, they haven't subscribed, um, do subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can be further updated for the upcoming videos. So if you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. And I hope I have cleared the concept of the biparietal diameter in this video. Uh, thank you for watching.